Chelsea football club owner Roman Abramovich and Ukrainian negotiators were among a group who suffered symptoms consistent with poisoning after attending peace talks in Ukraine. The Russian oligarch is involved in negotiations between Kyiv and Moscow. A little earlier, I spoke to Sky News correspondent Enda Brady and I began by asking him what happened to Roman Abramovich. So we know that there were negotiations on the night of March the 3rd. It went on quite long, late into the night, finished up about 10 p.m. And from what we're hearing is that the negotiation team then retri retired, retreated to an apartment in central Kiev, and they began to feel ill. There were three people in total who reported blistering on their skin, uh, constant painful tearing of their eyes, and among them was Roman Abramovich. So he was there effectively as a middleman, really, um, you know, taking messages from Moscow to Kiev. There were other people there as well representing the Ukrainian side. So two Ukrainians fell ill and Roman Abramovich. Now, they have all made a full recovery, but it did take some time. Apparently, the symptoms continued for the next day and did not abate for a full week. And a lot of question marks tonight over who would have been behind this. Yeah, and do they have any idea, Enda, who is responsible for this and actually who it was that they were trying to target? Well, it's a very good question. Who was the target? Because they ended up damaging both sides, if you look at it. Two Ukrainians ill and Roman Abramovich as well, one of the most high-profile Russians in the world. He's currently banned from the UK, sanctioned here, sanctioned in the European Union. He's been traveling a lot. He lives mostly in Israel now. He got Israeli citizenship. He has been seen in Istanbul. He has traveled to Moscow. He has been back to Kiev. Um, it's a very difficult one, but there is speculation tonight that perhaps hardliners in Moscow who are not happy with the peace talks and do not want peace, that this was kind of like a warning shot, if you like. Um, but it appears they've used a chemical weapon, and if they have, he's certainly got away very, very likely indeed, given what we've seen in this country a few years ago in Salisbury. Have the Kremlin said anything about this, and do we feel that this incident is going to have any impact on those ongoing peace talks? Nothing whatsoever from the Kremlin, and I very much doubt if there will be any discussion or comment on what has happened. But the peace talks and the negotiations are ongoing. Obviously, the Turkish government are heavily involved on the diplomatic side, trying to act as an honest broker, a middleman, just to get people together and to draw an end to the conflict and to stop the war. Um, so the negotiations will continue, but I would imagine Abramovich security team will be absolutely livid over what has gone on here. Uh, there are whispers that whatever substance was used, the only thing that was consumed during the meeting and negotiation, water and chocolate. So it could well have been placed in those substances.